Chapter 1, Understanding Traffic Rules Understanding traffic rules Traffic rules are guidelines that help road users stay safe while traveling on the roads. These rules are essential to prevent accidents and ensure a smooth flow of traffic. Let's dive into understanding these important rules. Firstly, let's talk about the different road users. Road users include motorists, cyclists, and pedestrians. Motorists are people who drive vehicles like cars, buses, and motorcycles. Cyclists are people who ride bicycles, and pedestrians are people who walk on foot. One important traffic rule is to always follow the road signs. Road signs give us directions and warnings. For example, a stop sign means we have to bring our vehicle to a complete halt before proceeding. A speed limit sign tells us how fast or slow we should drive. Following these signs is crucial for road safety. Another vital traffic rule is to obey traffic signals. Traffic signals are the red, yellow, and green lights we see at intersections. When the light is red, it means stop. When it turns yellow, it means prepare to stop, and when it turns green, it means go. Always remember to wait for the green light before you start driving at an intersection. It's also important to drive in your own lane. Lanes are the different sections of the road that separate the vehicles traveling in the same direction. Staying in your lane and not swerving into others' lanes helps prevent accidents. Always use your indicators when changing lanes, so other motorists know your intentions. One more rule to keep in mind is to always wear your seatbelt. Seatbelts are safety belts in vehicles that keep us secure in case of a collision. Wearing a seatbelt can save lives and prevent serious injuries. So remember, buckle up before you start your journey. When you're walking or biking, there are traffic rules for you too. As a pedestrian, cross the road at designated crosswalks and wait for the signal to walk. Look left, right, and then left again before crossing to ensure it's safe. And always walk on the sidewalk if available. If you're cycling, remember to ride in the same direction as the traffic and use hand signals to indicate turns. This helps motorists know your intentions and ensures your safety on the road. Understanding and following traffic rules is crucial to keep everyone safe and prevent accidents. Always be aware of your surroundings and respect the rules of the road. Never drink and drive or use your phone while driving as these actions are dangerous and can lead to severe consequences. By being a responsible road user, and following traffic rules, we can create a safer environment for everyone. So remember, stay alert, follow the rules, and enjoy your journey while keeping yourself and others safe on the roads. Question, what are traffic rules? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, Road Signs and Their Meanings Road signs are important for drivers to understand as they provide valuable information and warnings while on the road. These signs can give instructions and meanings that help drivers navigate and stay safe during their journey. One of the most common road signs is the stop sign. It is a red, octagonal sign with the word stop written in bold white letters. When you see this sign, it means you must come to a complete stop. Look both ways before proceeding and only continue driving when it is safe to do so. Remember, it's important to always follow the instructions of a stop sign to avoid any accidents. Another important road sign is the speed limit sign. This sign tells you how fast you can drive in a particular area. Usually, these signs have numbers on them, like 30, 40, or 50. These numbers tell you the maximum speed in kilometers per hour km slash h that you are allowed to drive. Pay attention to these signs and make sure to drive at or below the speed limit. It's better to be safe and follow the rules. 
There are also signs that warn drivers about potential dangers ahead. For example, the slippery road sign, which features a car skidding on wavy lines, indicates that the road may be slippery. This could be due to rain, ice, or oil on the surface. When you see this sign, slow down and be careful when driving as your vehicle may lose traction. It's like trying to walk on a banana peel slippery and dangerous. Additionally, the construction zone sign is important to note. It tells you that there may be road work or construction ahead. These signs usually have orange colors or cones on them. When you see this sign, reduce your speed and be prepared for possible lane closures or detours. This helps ensure the safety of construction workers and drivers alike. Other road signs provide directions and information. The famous green sign with white text is used to indicate which road to take for a specific location or city. This helps drivers find their way easily, especially when they are in unfamiliar places. Following these signs will prevent you from getting lost and losing your way. Nobody wants to end up on the wrong path, right? In conclusion, road signs play a vital role in keeping drivers safe and well informed. Understanding their meanings and following their instructions is crucial for a positive driving experience. Always pay attention to road signs, whether they provide warnings, information, or instructions. They are there to help you navigate the roads and arrive at your destination safely. So, next time you hit the road, keep those signs in mind and drive responsibly. Question, what do road signs indicate? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3, Basic Traffic Signals Traffic signals are important for the control of the flow of traffic at intersections. They help keep everything smooth and organized. Without them, it would be chaotic on the roads. When you approach a traffic signal, you will see three different lights, red, yellow, and green. These lights tell drivers when to stop and when to go. They work together to keep cars moving in the right direction. First, let's talk about the red light. When the traffic signal shows a red light, it means you must stop your car. You should wait patiently until the light turns green. It's important to follow this rule, because if all drivers stopped at the same time, it would cause less confusion and everyone would be safer. Next, we have the yellow light. When the traffic signal changes from green to yellow, it's a warning sign. It tells drivers to slow down and prepare to stop. If you have enough time to safely stop before the light turns red, you should do so. But if you are too close to the intersection, it's safer to continue driving through it rather than trying to suddenly stop. Finally, we have the green light. When the traffic signal is showing a green light, it means you can go. You have the right to proceed through the intersection, but remember to always be cautious and check for any cars or pedestrians before moving forward. Green means go but it doesn't mean you can hurry or drive too fast. Traffic signals work together to control traffic at intersections. Some intersections have traffic signals with arrows to guide turning vehicles. For example, when you see a green arrow pointing left, it means you can turn left safely without worrying about oncoming traffic. It's important to pay attention to these arrows as they help keep traffic flowing smoothly. Sometimes, you might encounter a traffic signal that is not working. In this case, treat the intersection as a four-way stop. Come to a complete stop and take turns with the other drivers. This way, everyone can continue on their journey while ensuring safety. Remember, traffic signals are there to help us all get to our destinations in a safe and orderly manner. They control the flow of traffic making roads less chaotic. By following their instructions and being aware of other drivers and pedestrians, we can all contribute to a smooth and organized driving experience. So, the next time you approach a traffic signal, remember the red, yellow, and green lights. 
stop when it's red, slow down and prepare to stop when it's yellow, and go when it's green. Together, let's make our roads safer and enjoy a trouble-free journey. Question, what do traffic signals control? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4, Pedestrian Safety and Crosswalks. It was a bright and sunny day in the town of Riverside. The birds chirped happily as the townspeople went about their daily routines. In this chapter, we will learn about pedestrian safety and crosswalks, which are important rules to follow when crossing the road. Crosswalks are specially marked areas on the road where pedestrians can cross safely. They are usually painted with bold white lines and sometimes even have traffic lights to help guide people across. They are designed to keep pedestrians safe from traffic and ensure a smooth flow of vehicles. Jack, a curious young boy, was about to learn the importance of crosswalks and how to use them correctly. His mother, Mrs. Johnson, was walking with him to the grocery store. As they approached a busy intersection, Mrs. Johnson pointed out the crosswalk up ahead. Look, Jack, see those white lines on the road? That's a crosswalk, she said, pointing towards it. Always remember to use the crosswalk when crossing the road. Jack nodded, understanding what his mom meant. But something caught his eye a bright red balloon floating in the sky. It was so mesmerizing that Jack forgot all about the crosswalk and darted across the road without looking both ways. Mrs. Johnson shouted, Jack, stop, wait at the crosswalk. Luckily, the vigilant car driver managed to stop just in time, narrowly avoiding an accident. Jack realized that he had made a mistake and ran back to his mom. I'm sorry, mom. I got excited about the balloon and forgot to use the crosswalk, he admitted, feeling ashamed. Mrs. Johnson hugged Jack tightly and said, It's okay, Jack. We all make mistakes sometimes. But remember, pedestrian safety is really important. We should always use crosswalks and follow the rules when crossing the road. As they safely crossed the road using the nearby crosswalk, Mrs. Johnson explained a few important rules to Jack. She told him never to run across the road, use the crosswalks all the time, and always look left and right before stepping off the curb. Crossing the road safely is all about being aware of our surroundings, Mrs. Johnson explained. We need to make sure there are no cars coming before we start to cross. That way, we can keep ourselves safe from accidents. Once they reached the grocery store, Jack stood in front of the sliding doors, waiting for them to open automatically. He looked up at the sign above the entrance. It had a picture of a person walking and a line struck through it, reminding people not to walk into the path of moving vehicles. Jack smiled and whispered, pedestrian safety is important. Crosswalks keep us safe. Mrs. Johnson smiled back proudly. Her son was learning to be more aware and responsible when it came to crossing the road. They finished their shopping and headed back home, taking extra care to use the crosswalks on their way. From that day forward, Jack always remembered to use the crosswalks and follow the rules when crossing the road. He became an example for his friends, reminding them of the importance of pedestrian safety and the need to be aware of their surroundings. Remember, boys and girls, always use the crosswalks, look both ways, and stay safe when crossing the road. Question? How can pedestrians stay safe on the roads? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5, Sharing the Road with Others Sharing the road with others is very important. It means being considerate and respectful towards other road users. This includes cyclists, motorcyclists, and truck drivers. As road users, we must remember to respect the rights of everyone we share the road with. For example, let's talk about cyclists. They ride their bikes on the road just like cars and trucks. We need to be aware of them and give them enough space. 
Always remember to slow down when passing a cyclist and give them plenty of room. We should never honk our horn loudly when passing a cyclist because it can startle them and cause an accident. It's better to use our horn softly or just wait for a safe time to pass. Motorcyclists are another group of road users we need to be considerate of. Motorcycles are smaller and harder to see than cars and trucks. We need to be extra careful when sharing the road with them. Always check your mirrors and blind spots before changing lanes, so you don't accidentally cut off a motorcyclist. Give them enough space and signal your intentions clearly. Truck drivers also play a vital role in our roads. They transport goods from one place to another. They have bigger vehicles, which means they need more space to maneuver. It's important to remember that trucks have larger blind spots than cars. So, if you can't see the truck driver's mirrors, they can't see you. Avoid driving in their blind spots and give them plenty of space when they are turning or changing lanes. It's also crucial to be patient when behind a truck. They may need more time to accelerate or slow down. Respecting the rights of other road users means following traffic rules and being patient. It's essential to obey speed limits and traffic signs. Always use your turn signals to indicate your intentions, so other road users can understand what you plan to do. It's also polite to let other drivers merge or change lanes when they need to. Remember, we are all trying to get to our destinations safely and being considerate makes the road a better place for everyone. In conclusion, sharing the road with others is all about being considerate and respectful towards different types of road users. Whether it's cyclists, motorcyclists, or truck drivers, we must remember to give them the space they need and respect their rights. Following traffic rules, using turn signals, and being patient are all part of being a responsible road user. So, the next time you hit the road, remember to share it with others and make everyone's journey safer and more enjoyable. Question, what does it mean to share the road? Check the video description.